Hi, it's Trixie. Today, let's use all Revlon. I don't know why I'm saying Revlon. I feel like I'm trying to elevate the brand because spoiler alert, all these products have security. <laughs> I went shopping at a Rite Aid to get all this Revlon stuff. It was it was a tough go of it. It was like not picked over, but like a lot of the stuff I wanted, I had to get help to get. So I feel like we're kind of time traveling because we kind of started the channel doing a lot of these all one brand videos. We've done Wet n Wild, Cover Girl. We've done a lot of Maybelline because you know I love Maybelline. And sometimes we find amazing products in the drugstore. Wet and Wild Mega Glow Highlighters, gorgeous. Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. We kind of built the channel on a lot of these like, can you do drag using drugstore makeup? And a lot of times you can, but not without trials and tribulations. I know in my little bucket here, there's gonna be some struggles because of course there is. I mean, we are making normal makeup products do abnormal things, so if you haven't watched one of these in a while, we do try to think, all right, if this isn't right for me, maybe it's right for you. But you know, for drag, we kind of push the limits of what's possible. Revlon makes America's number one bullet lipstick. And it's pretty crazy that I've barely, barely used Revlon much of my life. I'm very confident about some of it. I'm very concerned about the eyeshadows and we will get there. If you like these all one brand videos, by the way, please let me know what you'd like to do next. I love doing drugstore because I love doing affordable stuff. But you know, I know a lot of people have asked for Juvia's Place. A lot of people have asked for Morphe. But what do you, what do you wanna see? What brand is up next for you? So I'm gonna go glue my brows down and we'll be right back. Today's video is sponsored by our friends at Better Help. People are always like, God, how do you do it? You're always working. You have a million things going on. How do you manage all your life? Um, not without a little help, my friends. And that help is called Better Help. For somebody as mobile as me, as busy as me, as gay as me, it's great for me to be able to access a licensed therapist remotely from anywhere. Whether I'm on another time zone on the other side of the world or I'm in my backyard, Better Help connects you to a licensed therapist remotely, which is great because, I mean, let's say you live in small town Kentucky. You can connect with a therapist that is LGBTQIA plus like literate because you might not have the kind of access to help where you are. And you can do it all from your like phone or computer. What I really love about it too is you can schedule appointments within the app. So with traditional therapy, you have to like call the doctor's office or text the therapist or whatever. Being able to schedule in app and reschedule in app is fabulous. You will get matched with a licensed therapist in usually around or under 48 hours. And the other great thing is you can change therapists at any time for any reason, no explanation. My first BetterHelp therapist, we had to break up simply because of schedule. So for me, it was great to be able to switch, no questions asked. And that's how I found my current BetterHelp therapist, which is a much better fit for me, personality wise and schedule wise. Let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist who can help you out from the comfort of your very own home. Visit betterhelp.com slash Trixie Mattel and enjoy a special discount on your first month. I gotta tell you, there's nothing better than taking the best care of yourself. Back to that incredible video. Um, I got a bunch of Revel on here. Let's just start at the top. I grabbed a, oh wait, this is a setting mist. Locks your makeup for 24 hours. But you know, I like to start sometimes with setting mists. Even our setting sprays at Trixie Cosmetics, they have a lot of skin benefiting ingredients. So even if you use the setting spray as a primer, there will be some benefit there. I'm gonna say that it's water, glycerin, and butyl alcohol. Let's just guess. Water, the rest I was wrong about. <laughs> Interesting, broccoli extract, what? There's a bird outside. Get the f out of here, bird. All right, that was fine. I mean, we'll see how it looks at the end. This is the Revlon Colorstay Grip 16 hour matte primer. It definitely smells like kind of a mattifying primer. You know how mattifying primers have almost like a, almost a rubbery smell? Yeah, it definitely, definitely smooth pores. Absolutely. This definitely looks more matte. Guys, my skin has been so dry. I'm going on sabbatical July, August, September, and like my skin for the first time in 10 years needs to stop. Makeup needs to stop happening to it. I've put heavy makeup on four or five days a week for like 10 years. I'm gonna pre-film or film during the break. I might do some videos on a drag. What do you guys think about that? Like maybe hiring a professional organizer to do the studio or deep cleaning or decluttering or I don't know. I just need to give my skin a break, but I don't wanna quit YouTube. What do you guys think about that? All right, that looks pretty good. They had Revlon color stay at the right aid. Oh, by the way, I saw Shoplifter. I'll tell you about it. They had Revlon Colorstay, but I tried that 
And I've never liked that. And I don't want to go to makeup jail because I know a lot of people love it. But then I saw an ad with Megan the Stallion for this Colorstay full cover matte foundation. And Megan looked really good. So I thought if it's good enough for Miss Megan, who I think is honestly a drag queen like me. Hi Megan. Hi Miss Megan. I like how I think I know her. Full coverage foundation, a super matte finish, 24 hour wear. And it looks like it's a dimethicone and water blend, which means it's going to be super blendy. I like when products are dimethicone and water because it has slip, but it also kind of like dries into your skin a little bit. I don't want to call it too early, but I already really love this. <laughs> it feels like putting a cloud on your face. It feels so light and the coverage is very impressive. You guys, this looks great. I mean, this really is minimizing texture. I have a lighter shade too. Let's switch to the lighter shade and kind of like start building in some highlight here. Not that marketing works, but I saw Megan in the picture and was like, she wouldn't lie to me. Really, really, really full coverage and lays very smooth. That's the dinethicone in the formula. It just, it lays really well. I learned this tip from Creme Fatale. If you're ever looking for a full coverage foundation at the drugstore, a lot of times anything called anti-aging is full coverage because it's packed with silicone because it's smoothing mature skin. This looks great. But as usual, don't celebrate too early. Things could still go south. That looks awesome. I'm gonna do one more layer of glue here. You guys, if I shave my eyebrows, will you guys support me? Or will you guys make fun of me as much as you make fun of me for the rest of everything about me? Comment below. I have this Revlon Colorstay 16 hour pressed finish powder. I wanna try it, but you guys, they only have like three shades in my store. And I don't even think this is full coverage, but let's, let's just try it. This is a Revlon video. Yeah, way too light, but whatever. Let's just try it. Feels very talky, very talky, very powdery. What's the first ingredient, Nick? Thank you. And that is the night the lights went on Georgia. And there's nothing wrong with that. A lot. I mean, a lot of powders are formulated with talc. I believe Studio Fix powder, one of my favorite powders of all time is talc um, based, but it just, it feels like chalk. It just, this felt like chalk. I couldn't imagine how bad this will look on my skin. I do like the compact and I do like the packaging. Well, let's finish covering the brows here. You guys settle in. This is a longer video. If you guys don't know these full face brand videos, we have to touch on every feature. So pop some popcorn, you know, get yourself a gluten-free Oreo. If you guys don't know, I've recently had to go no dairy, no gluten. So we have a video trying a bunch of those snacks and they, we, there was, the results may shock you. All right, we have some foundation on it. I hope dries more matte than this. To me, it's a little glowy for what it is, but I think it looks nice. I grabbed some brow products here. Do you hear that accent? I grabbed, this is the Colorstay Micro Brow Pencil. You guys, it was hard for me to find brow pencils because everything was locked up at my location. I got a blonde and a brown. Get natural, flawless looking brows that last all day. Micro fine tip. I do like, I do like micro fine tips. Formulated with antioxidant rich argan and marula oil. Sure, it's a blonde pencil. Let's just try it. I'm afraid it's gonna be a lot of times in my experience, drugstore brow products tend to be very ashy because they formulate them to be very universal. So they tend to be all very gray. Okay, I prepared for this. This is basically invisible. So I did get the next color. This is a medium brown. It's nice. I understand that brow products tend to be a little gray on purpose because if you've ever seen a woman in the real world who fills in her brows a little too warm, it's really odd. It looks barbecue saucy to have someone have like really warm brows. It, I don't like it, but for drag, I like a little more warmth. This micro tip is nice. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This micro tip is really nice. Color stay micro. Brands do this a lot. When they have one hit product, they'll start naming all their other products the same thing. Think of Tarte's peach palette and suddenly they had like a peach setting spray, a peach blush, peach everything. That looks pretty good though. I really like that color. I got a concealer to sketch around the brows. I got this Revlon Color Stay. Flex Wear Concealer. I can't fucking open it. You guys, you know from these videos, nothing is more harrowing than trying to open drugstore makeup. You know, I'm used to putting products on the back of my hand on this channel, but now that we have the play pigments, I can actually use the palette. So let's use the palette. What I like about this too is, is a lot of these water-based concealers, they dry to my hand very quickly. They don't dry to the palette so quick. So you can kind of let the product sit there for a while. Like an artist. I'll do my other brow quick. I want to give this a really nice shot. So I'm going to use a Trixie concealer brush because these are nice and flat, dense, and they lay product down really well. I didn't see any Revlon brushes at the store, which I thought was kind of interesting. Nice, very nice. And I don't wanna jinx myself, but this looks good. Horny, that really laid down beautifully. Has a nice pigment rich. I wanna see what's in this. Such a nerd. Oh, let's find a sticker. That's how they get you. You guys, I saw Shoplifter at the Rite Aid. There was a guy, a little taller than me, wearing all black clothing, and he was kind of in makeup and he was looking around and I, I don't know. When you see me shopping in makeup, you're like, okay, gay. But this guy didn't seem gay and I was like, maybe he's buying makeup for his girlfriend or something. And then he was kind of skulking. And he was skulking longer. And then I was at checkout. I saw an employee jump the counter, run with arms like blades, like Terminator 2, run, run, and then escort the guy out. So he was obviously stealing. 
and it was it was really harrowing to see because let me tell you when i worked at alta we were not allowed to even suggest that someone was stealing we were basically encouraged to watch someone leave the store with product wait where's the ingredients unreadable okay super helpful i really like the concealer i really really do for drag it really is beautiful it reminds me of that covergirl concealer and honestly the components similar i wouldn't be surprised if they might be similar formulas ingredient wise all right so i got these uh concealers and other colors too so we can do some some contouring so i got my little spatula here from trixie cosmetics i'm just gonna use this to open it kind of works better than scissors to be honest the colors i got are deep Super helpful. Deep. Oh, that's very yellow. Very yellow and green. Oh, okay. Oh God. It's a really odd color. It's very, very, very gold. Gold, almost green, like a tarnished coin. The coverage is great. This foundation coverage is great. This concealer coverage are, is great. It looks great. My concealer is great. And I like these giant doe foot applicators. I feel like they give me a lot of precision. Do you guys see that? How it's like, it's like almost, it's really, really, really gold. Then again, I did buy it. So I could have bought the wrong color, but my, my store didn't have a billion colors. So we're working with what we have to work with. And then I have this deeper shade here and I'm hoping that this will give me just a little more warmth yeah with my with my contour especially in drag i like a little redder personally looks beautiful doesn't it i mean the coverage is amazing Let's start doing some carving here with this you guys for these all one brand videos i try to go neutral because i try to give each of these brands a very fair shot so i try to survey like a nice neutral blush neutral lip color neutral eyeshadows i feel like it's a way that i can kind of like mentally standardize what these brands do well. That looks pretty good, I think. I mean, my concealer's a little light. This concealer under is a little Canadians from South Park. To me, <laughs> it'll all even out. Trust the process. Let's take one of these deeper shades and let's do the jaw click. Let's do some under eye here. I just want to see the power of this concealer because I'm very impressed. This Flexwear, and I understand the name Flexwear. It feels very comfortable. When products brag about flexibility, it usually means they're made with like a silicone or like a polymer. Polymers under a microscope kind of look like a chain link. And that means the product, as you express yourself through the day, will move instead of drying solid and then cracking. So a lot of times like long wear concealers, the formula is a polymer. I know shit. Okay, I fucking know shit. And when I don't know shit, I just say shit anyway. I mean, you guys, this is a beautiful concealer. <laughs> this looks great. I never hear drag queens fucking talking about Revlon. This is great. Love how that looks. Look how bright and full coverage that is. This is beautiful. It looks like a spotlight. I'm gonna do this to this side and then do my nose. You guys have seen me do my nose. And we're gonna come back with the face done, ready to move on to the eyes. I got this other concealer because Revlon also makes this concealer called, because they put so much electronic protection on these drugstore products, I can't read what the names are. I'm just gonna try this. I think this is a fuller coverage situation. So I'm just gonna like draw this on. I thought this would give me a little extra lift under the eyes. At 40, I certainly could use it. You guys remember when I had Mr. Sizzle Brooks on here and I think I said I was 46 and she didn't laugh. She thought I was telling the truth. That was f***ed up. At my right aid, Revlon did not have setting powder at all. I don't know, America. I really don't know. So I guess I'm gonna set under my eyes with this color stay powder. Cause I, I do wanna try to give it a chance here and try all the products, but I just, I was really not gagged by the no setting powder I could find. Talc has a tendency to photograph light. So I will say talc based powders under the eye in photographs, they do look good, I think, if you're in dry. But in person, they can look a little Chalk Tina McGillicuddy. So I'm gonna use just this, this color shade powder on the high points of the base. It's a little dusty for you guys. I have to compare this to other drugstore powders. I would pick Maybelline Superstay over this any day. This just really gives, it really gives a 10 year old powder. Let's use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana because we love them and we know that that product works really well. So this is honestly a good way to test the foundation because if it doesn't work with this powder, I don't think there's any way to save it. I don't want to give up on anybody because I believe in I believe in following through. I believe relationships take work. Everywhere I put this color stay powder looks less good than the rest of the face right now. The red, like this all looks really dry to me. This is not on the level of like this foundation or this concealer. This powder is not on that level and should not be able to speak to her. Oh, f I bought it. I bought a cream blush and forgot to put it on too. We'll use this later. I really wanted to try this. I'm deeply concerned about what comes next. I have absolutely no faith in this eyeshadow palette. I have to show it to you guys. It's, it's, it's. I got two cream shadows, which I actually have some faith in. I do. Again, the packaging, they really don't want us to steal. This is 120 chocolate. It's supposed to be matte. How do you open this? Is this like a puzzle? What? You see how the top of it has like a little tab? Like what is going on here? How am I, a young American girl, meant to get in here? There's a brush. This is a brush. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, dried out. Cracked. Oh, I actually really like the pigmentation. I mean, it looks really pretty. Nice matte 
cream shadow. We're probably gonna use that because wait till I show you guys the powder eyeshadows I got. They are, I've never been more disappointed in an eyeshadow selection from a brand. You know, there's that moment where I go, Revlon is America's number one bullet lipstick brand, which I think might mean as a brand, they've kind of jumped ship on eyeshadows because there was almost nothing. The other one I got you guys, this is a cream eyeshadow. How am I supposed to read what any of this is? You guys, 705, I can't read the word, I'm sorry. And this is like a shimmery shadow. I need everybody to brace, like put one hand over, one hand over both nipples, one hand over the C and take a deep breath because this is fucking crazy, this shadow. I hope you guys can see all of it is shimmer. Do you see why when I saw this, I was like, like that's when I checked out the cream shadows and I was like, this has to be better than this. Cause I don't even think. I mean, how are these even different? Like, what are we doing here? Do you see why independent makeup brands exist, you guys? Because the bar is set so low for some of these global brands. Like, this is so unacceptable. And this is what I don't like about it. Let's say you're a teenage girl or a single mom who works too hard. You know, like, let's say you're just somebody who's trying to paycheck to paycheck and you want, to, you want a little pick me up. You go down to the Walgreens or something and you pick up this shadow palette and you go home and it doesn't look right. And then you're like, am I ugly? Am I bad at makeup? No, these are, this is just not acceptable product. I mean, this, this is not acceptable to me. This is not acceptable to me. Although Kelly Mantle uses these. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it, bitch? Revlon, I don't know if somebody, I'm assuming there's a gay intern watching this. Hi, I have celebrated what you've done well but we have to live in reality with this. This is fucking crazy. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this cream shadow because I think this is gonna be really pretty. To start, I'm gonna grab this Revlon Colorstay Dramatic Wear Liquid Eye Pen up to 24 hour wear with an ultra fine tip. Let's just check the back of the hand, see what the pen is. Nice and black, very pretty. So I'm just gonna real quick sketch a liner so we have kind of a backbone to this, kind of like that. All right, so we got the liner on. This liner so far, beautiful. Let's take this chocolate cream shadow and let's use the little brush. Let's be that girl. Let's let's just be open-minded. Let's be closed-minded. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm gonna be honest, these are really pretty. It's nice and matte, but very velvety, so it kind of eats texture. This looks really good. I wonder if they have more of these. I mean, my store only had six shades and most of them were shimmer. This was the only matte one available. These shadows over this, it's gonna look like absolute garbage, but let's just do it. I mean, this isn't all one brand video, let's commit. I'm just, I don't wanna be the one who says I told you so, but this is gonna look like Boo Boo the Fool McDonald. Oh God. Hi, Miss Texture. Hi. Ew. You guys, I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. I'm gonna black out today. I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna pass out. Oh no! This looks horrible. Oh. I'm gonna paint over it with more of this because I don't really know what to do. That looks fucking horrible. Honestly, I don't want Revlon to be mad at me. Give it up. Make better products with your eyeshadows or give it up. This is really bleak. Sure, I mean, whatever, that's fine. I'm gonna do some under eye liner here and we're gonna see if we can work out something. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of that brown under the eye because we, we hated it on the upper eye, but I think it might be okay on the under eye. Oh, this is so flop. Revlon is paying their employees overtime to flop this hard. This is like, ugh. <laughs> I've never come down so hard on a shadow. This is one of the worst things we've ever used. Oh God, it looks bad. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna do this to the side. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm gonna cut the, I'm gonna cut the lid first. Let's give it a fair shot on this inside. I have my concealer here because we love this concealer. And if I believe in anything, I believe that this concealer can bring us back to life. Jesus Christ. Revlon, you slayed me with this foundation. And I know you're going to slay me with these book colors. I see them sitting here and I'm like, these are going to be fucking great. But this, this eyeshadow, we got to talk. That looks significantly better. I'm going to do this to this side and we'll be right back. Things are happening. My issue so far is that this was so, you guys, I didn't even end up liking this. Mine, this was mine. This is brand new from the store. It's so dried out. <laughs> I want to move on. I have the shimmery one and I kind of am horny to put this on the lid just to like, let's try, right? Let's try to make things work. I'm going to scoop it out. I'm going to put it on the palette. If I was Revlon and I'm, I don't own Revlon, I would just make this amazing complexion products they're doing and make some great lip colors and just call it a day on shadows. Cause you guys, the consistency for me is not it. Do you see how this is like sand? It's not even like painting on. It's just, it's dry, it's sandy. So I'm painting some of this sand over the concealer, Miss Sand. Why does that look good though? Don't, don't, it, I mean, honestly, we're at the point where more texture is better because everything's so wild right now on this face. Like, and let's further improve the oatmeal situation by setting this cream shadow with one of these super shimmers from this palette from Hill. You guys, these are so similar. It's like, these are the fucking same. They're the same. I feel like it's kind of my strategy to make my crease look less shimmery is to now make my lid really shimmery. Does that make sense? Yeah, that just looks horrible. Okay, 
Love it. It's just sand. It feels like sand. Hate it. The black liner is intriguing. This is the Color Stay Cream Gel Eyeliner. Do you guys see what I mean? When they have one hit product, suddenly everything's called Color Stay. I see. I see what you're up to. Pull out brush. Flip and secure. This is a brush in the cap. I've never seen a gel liner like this. I think Urban Decay used to make one like this. Little inkwell. Okay. Oh, so the brush comes out and sticks to the top to make a brush. Okay. And you know, with a product that comes with a brush, we try to always use the brush. Unless it's a sponge tip applicator, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Very black, very black going on. Very, very black. And I do, I do like this applicator. Uh, the cap. Sometimes in cosmetics, they call it a caplicator and I hate that shit. Like, don't try to get cute. Caplicator, shut up, bitch. I mean, listen, I prefer a real brush, of course, but I'm not disappointed in this brush. I really kind of like it. I like the chest piece kind of shape. It makes it easy to grab. I really like this. All right, I'm gonna finish the top line of this with my little pen, because again, we're testing the gel liner, but we're also testing the pen. Oh, it's really flopping. I'm really flopping it. The cream eyeshadow is like so sandy. It's like not setting. Uh, let's check in. It looks okay. Do you guys see that there's more texture than usual? The whole thing looks a little more. Do you remember that scene in Female Trouble after Divine's face is destroyed with acid and then she wears makeup over it. That's what it kind of gives me. But I'm gonna do my black liner on this side. I'm gonna try the rest of this black liner and then I'm gonna add my white liner, of course, cause it's Trixie and we'll be right back. We don't have a white liner over here at Revlon. So I'm doing a little bit of my play pigment in white and I'm just gonna add that for my little tail. See, just makes it look cleaner. There we go. The other thing I'm gonna add, you guys, I just, this black liner is not laying the way I want to. So I'm gonna take my black play here, my black play pigment. And that's why I like these. They're so versatile for like, for fixing makeup. They honestly are so versatile. I take a little bit on my brush here and just stamp it over because it's just not totally black and it's not thin enough. And I don't wanna go over it with hot line because I don't need another layer of liner. I just want it less patchy. So do you see how I'm just buffing it? Like that just fixed it. These are so amazing for fixing makeup. That looks awesome now. It helped a lot because that cream shadow, you guys, that shimmery cream shadow, it just, it made this not want to look black. It looks like sheer. Real quick, I don't want to over contour, but I have my little Makeup Forever powder palettes here. We are judging the foundation, so I don't want to like overly powder this and then be thrilled with it when in fact it was just the powder. I wanted to use this blush, but I'm afraid that it's not going to lay over powder. Let's just do it anyway around and find out, bitch. Let's take this angled Trixie Cosmetics blush brush. Nothing. It just looks like juice. I hate this. I'm so disappointed in this. There's absolutely no color in this. It just looks like lip balm. Luckily, I planned for failure, so I bought a powder blush too. This I thought was so pretty. It's maybe too pale, and that's what I'm concerned about, but I thought this in the pan, I thought it was so beautiful. Go, go girl, give us nothing. It's just shimmer, orange shimmer. Nothing. Look how bad that looks. Revlon. This is just shimmer. This is just shimmer. And you guys, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't swatch it in the store. This is shimmer. That's shimmer. That's nothing. Honey, that's nothing. You know what? I bought some other lipsticks. Let's maybe use one of the lipsticks as blush because I, I want to believe in the magic of Christmas. Um, now, I, I was dazzled. I have footage. Dazzled by the lipstick display. Dazzled. It was organized so well. There was like a hundred shades of lipstick. I thought this was so pretty. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I love the tube. You guys, this makes me think of my mom's makeup bag like in the best way. I'm gonna use this blush as a lipstick because I really want to believe in the magic of Revlon. Yeah, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. That's all we can hope for at this point. It's better than nothing. I feel like a women's magazine whenever I say this shit, but every lipstick can be blushed. Don't forget that, people. That looks nice. That worked out, sort of. You know, let's veil that. That's a very fancy makeup word. Let's veil that with this blush. This is Ravishing Rose. I mean, it is just shimmer, but I wanna use it. So let's just do that. Sure, sure. Very disappointed in the blushes at Revlon. Very disappointed in the blushes, As very disappointed in the eyeshadows. I also bought a highlight, but you know what? Let's, let's be brave. I'm gonna take a little fluffy eyeshadow brush. This is like a big fluffy brush from Trixie Cosmetics, but it's nice for precision highlighter. You guys look how nice that is in the pan. It has like this kind of wave pattern. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not always a super highlight person in drag, but today let's go for it. It could be blended a little bit. So I'm just gonna like do a fluffier brush. It's gonna do the whole area. Oh, mascara, of course. I got the Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash Extreme Volume and Lash Tint Effect. 
Again, security protected. They had a lot of mascaras and this one, the So Fierce, the red packaging, it just grabbed me. I thought it looked cool. So sometimes packaging matters, people. I know I'm gonna love this brush. I love these sort of hourglass Christmas tree shapes. I always like to try new mascaras, you guys, because if you don't know, the period after opening for a mascara is only three months. So you really should replace these often. So when you're at the drugstore and you wanna treat yourself, be like, well, I have to get a new mascara because it's not safe. Definitely lengthening. I wouldn't say volumizing. It kind of just brushes them a lot. Fine, normal. I'd say this is like normal. I wouldn't be unhappy with this. It didn't, it didn't blow my mind. Let's do some lip color, shall we? Now I got a bunch of stuff because I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel. There was amazing selection of lip colors. Look at this, you guys. Ah, isn't that beautiful? This color is called Heartbreaker. There was also a really fair baby pink. Oh God, you know I'm gonna love that too. I mean, I love both of those. And then I grabbed a bunch, you guys. I was like blacking out buying these. There were so many options. This matte called If You Want To. Oh, you know I'm gonna love that. Oh, there's a Revlon sharpener, which I found funny because Revlon did not sell sharpenable pencils. Let's do the light pink. So I bought a color here called Rose, and I got Mauve, and I think together these are gonna be beautiful. So I'm gonna start with this Mauve color. Okay, that color is so right, you guys. That is beautiful. I'm in no way surprised. I mean, Revlon really is amazing with lip colors, and so I, I figured out that the lip liners would also be good. So then on the inside of that, again, color stay long wear lip, they love to say color stay. I'm gonna soften this, soften this out a little bit. Not really deep enough, this lip pencil. That's no one's fault. They just didn't have, I know that it, sometimes at these CVSs and stuff, they have not as many colors as they do on the website. So nice sharpener. So I'm just taking this Boundless Berry from Makeup Forever and I'm just doing a little more contouring. Let's do the lipstick, shall we? 16 Candy Addict, this matte pink. I don't know. It's a little, oh God, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm gonna take it off and put on something else. I'm just gonna put on a neutral because I really don't live for this lip color. I thought I was gonna love it. Let's try this nude. I have this nude that I bought that's also super matte. The one that's called If I Want To. Let's try her. I think this is gonna work for me. That's a little more me. Super smooth application. Literally feels like putting butter on my face. That felt delicious. We took this color Secret Club and that's what we have on the cheeks. I'm just gonna add this too. That really works for me. This kind of like plum liner with this orangey lip, that works for me. You know, before we're done, let's just do, this is the setting mist. Let's do this. Let's go put on hair and everything and come right back. And we're back and guess what? I hate the lipstick again. So we're gonna change it for a third time. Now it's like two peach for this outfit. I just want like a nude. I'm sorry, America. I've let you all down. So let's do something else. This is Bear Affair. Gorge. Oh wow, love this. Love this. Okay, that's pretty. Did I have a gloss? Should we just throw on the gloss? We might as well. Snow pink. Oh. Oh, it's a lip gloss. I I have very little to say about it. We have more important things to talk about here. So I'm gonna put my gloves back on. So let's just talk about it. Let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly here at Revlon. Now I'm only somebody who walked into a Rite Aid and tried a handful of products. There might be products that you love that I don't love or products you love that I didn't get to try. So let me know if I missed something core. Well, let's just talk about it. I thought the setting spray was absolutely adequate. Didn't burn my skin when it went on. Finished the makeup, did a beautiful job. Very fine mist. Color Safe Full Cover Foundation, absolute slay. Would recommend to anybody doing drag. Very thin feeling, full coverage foundation. Love, absolutely love. I really liked this Revlon Color Safe Flexwear Full Cover Concealer. Loved these, they looked beautiful. They sketched out around the brows. They look great on the face. They contoured well, they blended out. They didn't smell weird. I would buy this again. The primer, super matte, didn't feel heavy, kind of marshmallowy, kind of cushy. This looked great. I mean, honestly, the complexion is probably the best part of this whole look. Color Safe Powder. It's a no for me. I'm not buying this, like at all. I guess I did buy it. I would never buy it again. Get Maybelline Superstay. It's the dream version of this. I didn't totally get to try this Revlon Insta Blush color, but to me it was so sheer. It looked like cherry chapstick on the skin. It w I was not living. Same as this Revlon blush, this Ravishing Rose. This is basically a highlighter. I couldn't see anything. I would never buy it again. These cream gel shadows, are they better than the powder eyeshadows? Yes. Would I ever use them again? No. The KBD Beauty pomades are the better version of this. I love Revlon. I'm, I'm a very happy, happy Revlon consumer here today. None of these eye products wowed me at all. This we don't need to discuss. Revlon Color Stay didn't have color and it didn't stay. 
I wouldn't plant this in the makeup bag of my worst enemy. Like I wanna walk, I wanna go to Revlon headquarters. I wanna walk table to table and go, would you wear this eyeshadow? And I don't think any of these people would. Like this is just a bad product. This was actually really nice. The Revlon Color Stay gel kind of liner. I liked the ink well. I liked the quantity of products you get for the price point. I liked the brush. I liked the shape. I mean, this looks different than other products in the drugstore, which I can really appreciate. Is this as good as L'Oreal Color Riche, which I think is the best drugstore one? No, but this is good. The lip liners, definitely yes, because I love the way they were displayed in the store. I love the packaging. I mean, the fact that it really shows what the color looks like. I put this lip liner on and used it with three different colors and I wiped it off and reapplied it and it didn't get weird. I actually think this is really pretty. Speaking of sharpeners, I thought this was adequate. It's completely fine. It's totally, totally fine. The bullet lipsticks, other than the shades, maybe not being the ones I wanted in the moment, I love these lipsticks. There's a reason why these lipsticks are the number one bullet lipstick in the country. The color range is amazing. The way they are presented in store is amazing. The names are adorable. The lipsticks and the foundation are both absolutely amazing. I would totally wear these lipsticks again, and I will probably wear these foundations until they're gone. The lip glosses are lip glosses. I mean, unless they have some particular incredible smell, which they don't. They don't smell great. Just get the Maybelline Lifter Glosses if you're gonna do drugstore. I mean, these are fine. The Maybelline Lifter Glosses are better. The other thing we tried was this concealer, this photo ready concealer. It's hard to say it really did anything. I mean, I'm very happy with the way my complexion looks. I'm just gonna try to get a little closer. The skin looks perfectly smooth other than where I tried to apply blush unsuccessfully and where the eyeshadow has been applied. But the base itself, the foundation is absolutely beautiful. And finally, this Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash, it's fine. I mean, I wouldn't say the lashes were big and bad, but I really did like the brush. I just thought for big bad lashes, these were modest. These were like, I'm bad because I cheated on my diet. I was wanting like, I'm bad because I robbed a bank. This is not that bad. This is a misdemeanor. My first impression of Revlon honestly here today is get the lipsticks and try that foundation and the rest play around with, but the lipsticks are absolutely gorgeous and worth it. And the foundation is. Thank you for joining me here on the channel. I love doing an all one brand. I mean, I still feel beautiful. I love to be critical of makeup because I think I know everything, but a lot of these products might be some of you or your mom or your aunt or your neighbor or your boyfriend's favorite products. So if there's something I missed or there's something I hated that you feel like you need to defend, I'll see you in the comments, bitch. Have a good day.